I decided I was going to paint. My attitude was that Churchill can paint, I can paint. So I hired an instructor. She was a little apprehensive. She said, what's your objective? I said, there is a Rembrandt trapped in this body. And your job is to find him. So I painted a cube. It actually looked like a cube. And I've been painting ever since. Uh, there's a purpose for me telling you this. Here's one purpose. So when you're over 70, that's me, you sit around with your pals, and there's only really two topics of conversation. What medicines are you taking? <laughs> and how's your grandkids? By the way, mine are awesome. And. Uh, uh, but my friends see this passion for learning and this passion for painting. They say, oh, I wish I could paint. Or I wish I could have a hobby like that. I said, well, you ought to paint. And they say, I can't paint. I said, it's funny. That's what I said four and a half years ago. I think lesson one is that life is to be a continual learning experience. And you ought to try things. You ought not to be inhibited. And when you get out of the military, try things. Give life a shot. Uh, the other lesson in painting is you can teach old dog new tricks. And so I uh, decided to, to take my newfound passion and apply it to a worthy cause. Uh, this is kind of an announcement of an art exhibition that will take place at the Bush Center. I have painted I think it's 97 portraits of veterans who were wounded under my command, all of whom I've gotten to know. Many I've ridden mountain backs with, some I played golf with. All of them I admire a lot, the issues they've been dealing with, the successes and the not so successful. The purpose is to draw attention to what works when it comes to dealing with the invisible wounds.